Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is going to look at an introduction to Google Maps for Palo 2 VR version 5 Pro. Okay, so this is an output. Um, this is a two node output and when I click on the map button, you can see I have a Google Map that appears. It's got the radar beam and it changes when we view, uh, change the field of view of the pano. And we've got some map markers that when we click change our location. So that's what we're going to build. So how do we do that? Right, well I'm going to start off, I've got two vertical strips as my input images. So I'm just going to drop those onto the icon and open up Pano 2 VR. As Pano 2 VR is uh, designed to be a full screen application, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're just going to go straight up and make it full screen. That gives us a little bit more real estate around the edges. And what I need to do now is to add GPS data to the input images. Neither of these have got it. Had they had GPS data, there would have been a little icon um, with a satellite there. Okay, so how do we add the data? Right, well, we click the um, tour map button. That opens up the tour map in the side pane. But what I want to do is undock that and drag it in the middle. And I'm going to click the very edge and make that a little bit bigger for us. So it's easier to work with. Now what I need to do is find our location in Google Map. Right, now that's quite easy and this is quite clever. All you need to do is type in a, an address or a postcode or in this case I'm just going to type in the name of the location. So it's layer Marnie Tower and when I click return it takes me right to the entrance. If I change to the satellite view, you can see I've got the long driveway going down to the car park of my location. So if I just move that down there, this is the car park, this is the long driveway. So it's found me very, very quickly. Uh, now what I need to do is obviously set my location and set north. So right click to set position. So I'm standing roughly about here, so I'm going to right button click. And now I need to set uh, my north. Now, the easiest way to do that is I've got my grid view selected. So I've got this cross here and I've got this red line going down the center of the screen. Now, what I need to do is find a reference point. So here is a reference point. I'm using the side of the tower here. And then it's got pick landmark. So if I click pick landmark, what it's telling me to do now is right click to pick the landmark. So if I right click on the edge of the tower, that's now set my north. So I'm now looking and pointing the right way. And now when I do that, you can see I've got the satellite in the node of the tour browser. Right, I'm just going to do this for the second node. And so here we're going out to the gardens. And if I zoom in a little bit more, we can see this. So I'm standing roughly about there. So I'm right button clicking to set my position. And then what I want to do now is just find a landmark so I'm going to find the top of this roof there we go I've got a pointy bit of the roof um, and which is roughly there so I'm going to pick the landmark click that button and then right button click to set the north and okay that's all done right so I can now close the map interesting to say that we now write to the XMP data so if I was to save or convert my input images now we'd also write out the GPS data with the images okay so I'm just going to select an HTML5 output so there we go. And I'm actually going to save and produce it now. The reason I do this is, one, it saves the project just in case um, I need to quit out for any reason. But the other thing is, is once you've built it once, because Pano 2 VR timestamps everything, uh, the next time that you produce anything, it's really, really fast. It only changes if the timestamp changes. OK, so I'm going to select um, a skin. I've got a map skin that I've already started. And all I've done is just added a graphic, just a button. But what I need to do is click on this add map. I'm going to draw the map in the skin. I'm going to sort of center it roughly and I'm going to anchor it center as well. Why as I have this selected, the initial um, type I'm going to select as satellite and because I really don't want the roadmap. And what I need to do now then is just give the button some actions to hide and show the map. So mouse click. Um, we're going to go to visibility and we're going to toggle visibility and the target is going to be map one. So the actions talk you through how to do it, which is really good. I'm going to close and save. We're going to republish this out. And when we open it up, you can see that there is my Google map. There's the button to hide and show it. And we've got the map markers that when I click on them, we can change location and we have the radar beams. 
There you go, that's an introduction on adding Google Maps to Pano 2 VR version 5, and thanks for watching.